59V to V Easy Converter offers fast and easy migration of VMware virtual machines to Microsoft Hyper-V. The V to V Easy Converter provides a great way for you to migrate your VMware virtual machines to Hyper-V with an easy and standalone tool. It performs non-intrusive conversions with the highest success ratio on the market. It is optimized for production environments with its software-based and agentless design, requiring no additional hardware. The process can also be scripted through PowerShell, giving you automation capabilities for an unlimited number of VM migrations. The solution runs on all current versions of Windows and Windows Server, and migrates all Hyper-V supported operating systems, including Linux and Unix. Migrating to Hyper-V has never been so fast or easy than with 59 v to v Easy Converter. You can effortlessly migrate from VMware to Hyper-V with a simple wizard. The v 2 v Easy Converter quickly migrates virtual machines from VMware to a Hyper-V host. The conversion happens up to 30% faster than current competition, bringing your services back online sooner. No matter whether you're a small company or an enterprise, now virtual machine conversions have never been so simple. The first step is that you're going to go and specify your VMware vCenter or ESXi source server. Second, you're going to select the VMs that you wish to migrate. Third, you have the option to edit the VM configuration in case you want to adjust some of the settings, such as the memory or the networks. Next, you specify the Hyper-V destination host where you're going to migrate the VMs to. We are then going to verify that that particular host has enough resources to support the new VMs. You're then going to specify a temporary storage path which copies the data between the virtual machines. And finally, you're going to go ahead and migrate. And of course, you can use PowerShell to automate this process end-to-end. -end. Let us go ahead and connect to the VMware vSphere client just to verify what settings and what virtual machines we're going to be migrating. So you can see here I currently have three VMs. Let's go ahead and first log in just to quickly verify what is running on the desktop's operating system. As you'll see, we have the computer that has a couple of disk drives, and then we have a 5.9 home folder, and that just has a couple different documents and things located in it. Let's go ahead and close this virtual machine, but you'll notice it's still running. Now we're going to go ahead and launch the 59 v 2 v Easy Converter. We specify the IP address, username and password of that ESXi host or of the vCenter server. Confirm that information is correct, we'll click Next. And then it's going to go and connect to the vCenter server and verify the settings are accurate. Here it shows the three virtual machines. Let's select CentOS. And now we have the ability to remap different resources, something that's unavailable with most other migration tools allowing us to adjust things like memory, disk, network. Next, we're going to go and actually select the Hyper-V host that we go and migrate this to. Now, we're going to go verify that it's a suitable host and that it has enough capacity. This is where we choose where we go and store the locations, and we can also remap our networks to make sure that when the VM moves, it has network connection to the outside world. We take a look at the volumes that we're going to copy and here we specify a temporary file folder for them. We're going to use this to copy the disk data. On the summary screen, we verify the information and have the option to start the VM after deploying it to the destination host. This will minimize the overall amount of downtime. So when I click Finish, first we shut down the VMware virtual machine. Once it's offline, we copy the VMDK file, or the virtual hard disk, to our temporary file location. And then once it's in that temporary file location, we take that VMware data and go and convert it to a Hyper-V virtual machine or a VHD file. Now, in this actual demo, this operation has been sped up and different factors will impact the total time it takes to create, including things like your networking speed and your storage write speed. At the end, your old VM will be offline and your new VM running on Hyper-V will not only be migrated, but it will also be running as we went for that option to launch it immediately. Well, from here, let's log in to our newly migrated virtual machine that's currently running on Hyper-V, and we can see that all of the same settings have been copied. The 59 v 2 v Easy Converter allows you to streamline your migration project with the broadest OS support and leading conversion rates. 
it's the only migration tool you need, as it really does migrate more guest operating systems than anyone else in the industry. It supports every Hyper-V guest OS, including the latest versions of Windows and Windows Server, along with numerous Linux and Unix distributions. Start with the 5.9 V2V Easy Converter to streamline your migration project with its non-intrusive conversions. The V2V Easy Converter runs as standalone software, so you don't need any additional expensive hardware appliances. Many enterprise migration solutions require additional programs or hardware appliances to be integrated into the data center to perform the conversion. 5.9 V2V Easy Converter is a standalone software tool, and it eliminates the need for any extra components to reduce additional costs or complexity. Let's take a quick look at how the migration works. Well, there's really three simple steps here. First, the VM's configuration settings are remapped, and so that's essentially taking the VMware settings and mapping them over to Hyper-V. So if you had a two gigabyte virtual machine in VMware, we would copy that same two gigabyte memory setting over to Hyper-V. The VM's hard disk data is then copied to a temporary location. This essentially extracts the information from the VMDK virtual hard disk file format and converts it to a Hyper-V file format, which is using VHD or VHDX. As a third step, you now merge the configuration information with the virtual hard disk data to have a newly migrated and updated Hyper-V virtual machine using the same information that you copied from when it was running over on VMware. The V2V Easy Converter also allows you to scale and automate your migrations using PowerShell. Manually converting more than a few VMs to Hyper-V can be a time-consuming and inefficient process for any migration project. But with the V2V Easy Converter that has its PowerShell APIs, you can script the migrations and highly automate them. This can even scale to support the largest migrations by being able to launch simultaneous migration jobs. Next, we're going to go ahead and migrate our second virtual machine, Windows Server 2012 R2, and this time we're going to use PowerShell as our programmatic interface. Here's a quick view of the different PowerShell commandlets that you see, where we're going to specify the source, the destination, different things like passwords, shutdown, startup actions, and a whole variety of logging information. Let's actually take a look at this in action. So here we've gone and we've entered the information where we're going to convert the virtual machine. We're going to do verbose logging. We specify the source IP address, the username, the password, then the name of the virtual machine, networks. In this demo, once again, we have sped up the migration process and it will vary based on your own hardware, networking and storage capabilities. At the end, you'll see that it's done. We can go ahead and start it, connect to it, and we see that we have a fully operational Windows Server 2012 R2 virtual machine, which we migrated from VMware over to Hyper-V. Using the V2V Easy Converter, you can get fast and easy migration of your VMware virtual machines to Microsoft Hyper-V. For additional information, please visit www.59.com v2v or email sales at 59.com.